Welcome to Inquiry, a podcast geared towards students where we discuss all things related to tech, from school to industry. My name is Annie. And I'm Daniel. And together, we are your co-hosts. Our team at Inquiry has been working hard to put together an eight-episode focus series titled Tech After High School. In each of these eight episodes, we will be featuring various tech programs in Canadian schools, from varying computer science programs to biotechnology and biomedical engineering. For today's episode, we are so excited to introduce William Wang. Will is a backend developer at Shopify and part of the Dev Degree Intern Program with Carlton. In his spare time, Will loves to ultra marathon, practice competitive math, and play the guitar. A strong believer in the motto of move fast and break things, Will loves a good challenge and competes in hackathons from time to time. Thank you so much for joining us, Will. Why don't you start off by telling everyone a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Daniel. So as Daniel said, I'm a backend developer, part of the dev degree program at Shopify. Um, I'm in the 2019 Carlton cohort. So I started my undergrad at Carlton September in 2019. And right now I'm on my first placement. I'm working as part of the shop pay installments team. So that's a Shopify buy now, pay later payment products. So yeah, so previously, Prior to Shopify, I worked as an AI intern on the Northern Tornadoes project at Western for over the summer. And currently I'm an undergraduate teaching assistant at Carleton for a few math courses. Cool. So could you tell us a bit more about the program? Yeah, for sure. So Dev Degree is sort of an innovative evolution of your traditional co-op program. So it allows you to master development skills faster by taking this work integrated learning approach. So whereas your traditional co-op program has you taking, let's say, eight months of school, four months of focused on your work, Dev Degree has this harmonious balance between work and school at the same time. So while you're pursuing your degree, you're, do, you're doing a part-time job as well. So in a typical week, the breakdown is like 20 hours of Carlton work per se, and let's say 20 hours of shop work with five hours of professional development. And over the four, we have, I guess, 4,500 hours of work experience, as well as over 4,000 hours of Carleton or York University experience. That sounds great. So why did you pick this program? Yeah, so I chose the dev degree because uh, I really like the flexibility of the program, as well as I've heard great things about Shopify's company culture. So in terms of, I guess, Shopify, I first got introduced to the work environment participating at a hackathon in grade 11, I'd say, at the NASA Space Ops. I visited their office. Um, they hosted the first Ottawa Space Ops hackathon, and I competed with a few devs at Shopify, and they introduced me to, I guess, their really, the really crucial part, which is their culture of shipping fast, of a really fostering a learning environment that pushes you to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. And I really learned a lot about Shopify. So, and I did a little more research afterwards and I found out Dev Degree was an available program, which I guess piqued my interest. Um, in terms of applying, I applied to several computer science programs at the end of grade 12, as that was the field I was trying to go in and Dev Degree was the one that really spoke out to me near the end of the semester. So it was really a combination of Shopify's culture as well as the flexibility and difference or I guess innovative approach that the Dev Degree program takes between having a work integrated learning. So thinking school and university at the same time was something I was interested in since I hadn't heard of it anywhere else. Great. What are the requirements of the application? Yeah. So the entire application process is actually documented on devdegree.ca. So I think it really varies from year to year. This year, I believe you have to have an online written application. So a personal statement, as well as answering a few computational questions. And if you pass those, you'll be moved on to subsequent rounds where you'll have, I guess, a life at Shopify 
interview as well as a few behavioral or further technical interviews to get you through to that last step. Um, in terms of university requirements, as dev degree is a balance between also work and school. So you have to apply to either one of the programs at our partner universities, so either York University or Carleton University for their Bachelor of Computer Science Honors Program, and I guess get accepted to that program. So regardless of whether you're a mature student or someone who's recently graduated from high school or someone who's taken a gap year or some time off, as long as you apply to the university, get accepted and go through our application process, you are definitely an eligible candidate. Great. So from the University of Carleton and York University, why did you pick Carleton? Yeah, so the main reason why I chose Carleton was because Carleton is closer to home. So I'm from Ottawa myself. I started high school at Colonel by Secondary School, which is, again, um, very close to downtown or the shop by offices and Carleton as a result. So I chose it since it was closer to the home. It would be more flexible in terms of traveling between school and work and back home and juggling all of these at home where I could have, I guess, my meals planned and a more stable working environment would be a lot more flexible over the years. Furthermore, um, Shopify's HQ is actually in Ottawa. Um, Toby Luke, the CEO of Shopify, actually founded um, Shopify in Ottawa. So I felt that there was more of a centralized tech hub in the Shopify Ottawa offices compared to the York ones. And yeah, so I guess it was close to home and it was more centralized, the HQ. Great. That makes a lot of sense. So what do you think are the sorts of grades that are needed to have a competitive application? Yeah, so at Shopify's dev degree, we don't really stress the importance of really high grades. Um, I know I had a decent, a, some decent grades after graduating from the IB program at Colonel Bai, but I think we're, we evaluate applicants on a more holistic basis. So I know mature students who maybe haven't taken class for a few years or they've taken courses in a completely different program, their grades might be different. You can't really evaluate like a high school person's grade with, let's say someone who's graduated from like a media and tech background in another, another university or someone who's maybe taken a gap year and just spent that time freelancing or doing entrepreneurship. So we evaluate candidates more on the holistic side. So taking into account not only their grades, this is only like a very small representation on who the person is, but really their passion for computer science, um, I guess their love for entrepreneurship and how mission focused they are. So time management is something crucial that's uh, really looked at for Shopify as well as I guess your key characteristics. So how comfortable you are with approaching new challenges since switching into an, a very fast paced industry work is daunting and it takes a sense of getting used to imposter syndrome as well as um, I guess facing something new. So, so grades again, to sum this up in a quick sentence, grades are not really too, too required in a competitive application. So as long as you meet that baseline of grades that's required for either Carleton or York. So I believe that's somewhere around 88 for Carleton. I could be wrong on this or York. I'm not hundred percent sure what the grades are for that, but as long as you meet that, I think you're a great candidate given that you have a myriad of other skills and your background. Great. So given the more global approach to the admission, what do you think are the supplementals that are needed? Yeah. So dev degree evaluates on a very holistic approach. So candidates are very different. We accept both mature students and students graduating out of high school. So a variety of backgrounds and experiences. I don't think there's one necessary, necessary um, like cookie cutter definition of that perfect candidate. But I think as long as you demonstrate, again, I'm kind of repeating myself here, but as long as you demonstrate that passion for computer science, as well as like a growth mindset. So that's also something that we really stress. So taking on challenges, accepting that bad times will come sometimes and just moving on. Yeah. So in terms of supplementals required for the application. So I think 
other than your most universe, your most recent academic transcript. So whether that be a previous university um, degree or a partial degree or your high school diploma, I think that's pretty baseline for any application or any university application. So we'll require that as well as on Shopify side, you'll need a personal statement. So something like a cover letter on why you'd be interested or why you're the perfect candidate for the dev degree program, as well as your resume. So other than that, I think there might be some things that I haven't mentioned on the application letter, but again, we also accept um, international students. Sounds good. So would you have any advice for students who are looking to apply to this program? Yeah, that's a great question. So in terms of if you're looking to apply to the dev degree program in the future, definitely recommend at least going to the page or the dev degree page and thoroughly reading through the questions as well as the application process to familiarize yourself with Shopify, both Shopify and the dev degree program, as we're looking for a variety of candidates with different background experiences. Again, you could be either a mature student or um, a student graduating from high school. Um, we really don't really uh, look at your academic background or your age status. And I think Shopify's uh, or Shopify's VP of data science wrote an article on the Shopify website titled why Shopify is interested in journey over resume. And this really explains it a lot on what we're really looking for at Shopify. So in terms of evaluating a candidate as a whole, we take into account their entire journey as a person from when they first were interested in computer science until the point where they are at now. And so really journey over resume. And if dev degree is the right place for you, I recommend showing your excitement for it on the application. That sounds great. So now that we've talked about the application, I'd like to move on to campus life. How have you found your experience at Carleton? Yeah, so generally I found my experience at Carleton University to be welcoming both with the pre-pandemic approach, so when we attended classes in person, as well as post-pandemic, so pivoting from, I guess, March till now, when we transitioned everything to be virtual. Um, I guess from the get-go during my first day at Carleton, um, we had orientation, which was great. We got to know the campus a little more, although I was already pretty familiar with it after attending um, a few math courses in my uh, secondary education. Um, the campus is really scenic and beautiful. It runs right along the Ottawa River, which I took walks on every day in between my classes. And I visited my students' dorms rooms, what, uh, of which some of them were living in on res. And every so often we would go to the cafeteria and meet different students as well as just grab a, grab a bite between classes, which was nice. Um, generally, I found the profs to be pretty knowledgeable about their topics. I know there will always be, regardless of where you are, some bad profs and good profs alike. So we had a few profs who were really engaged with the course content and we really could talk with them one-on-one -on -one and discuss research opportunities. So if that's something you were interested in, um, that was really great. I also got the opportunity, pivoting a little bit to my personal experience during my first day, I got to talk with one of the profs who was director of the Math Enrichment Center, um, a math program I attended in high school, and he offered me a job as a teaching assistant. So that's how I really found the connection there. Generally, I find that if you're looking for um, if you're looking for connections at Carleton, as long as you put in the effort, um, the students are very welcoming as well as the professors too. So my experience in the pre-pandemic times were pretty good. So after we transitioned to more of a virtual setting, I think in March we had a I guess a recommendation to students to move out. So if you were living on res and could move back to your home, we, they advised you to do so. But for international students, um, most of them had to stay since the country restrictions for COVID didn't clear up yet. So shifting to a more virtual experience, I think Carlton handled it generally really well compared to other schools. We pivoted really quickly to setting up everything for online classes. Everything was recorded and the asynchronous classes made it really easy to um, tailor my schedule to fit uh, different approaches. So I found myself able to take a few more courses on in the summer, both in the summer and this fall term. 
And generally, I found my experience with those to be fairly good. I've taken on getting into the more complex courses. We can really see the bridge between uh, theory and practice and seeing how an algorithms class, let's say, correlates with something you're doing on the back end. That sounds great. How did you balance your studies and your work at Shopify? Cool. Yeah. So in terms of work-life balance, I found my I found that not to really be a problem since Shopify has such a huge emphasis within their culture to have a strong balance between work and leisurely activities. So again, during the pre-pandemic times, um, the commute between Shopify and Carlton was, I guess, my transition period between work and school. It allowed me to wind down in one aspect. So let's say wind down from university assignments and switch on a mindset that's that was more industry focused. So focusing more on what my work at Shopify was. I was able to really balance my activities since the flexibility of Shopify's work hours, as well as the asynchronous classes in this post-pandemic time allowed me to really pick a schedule that was tailored towards how I really worked or how I was accustomed to working towards the day. So I know many students have different schedules, but I typically start um, Shopify work from nine all the way to 4 p.m. where I cut it off. During four to 5 p.m., I have sort of this transition time where I'm uh, going out for a run, going for a walk, reading a book, winding down. And then from five to 9 p.m., I'm toggling on that school mindset and focusing on my university assignments. In terms of getting balance between this, like the stress of midterm seasons and finals, um, during that time, I usually take a, a couple days off for exams to study. I know we have 10 flexible work days at Shopify, and since we're only working 2.5 days a week, that really equates to almost four weeks of time that you can potentially take off if you really need it, which gives us a lot of um, flexibility in terms of balancing academics. That sounds great. So what does a typical day look like for you? Yeah, sure. So a typical weekday looks kind of like I usually get up sometime around 4.30 a.m. So I'm a really big fan of the 5 a.m. club by Robin Sharma. So I'm a devout uh, early bird. So in the morning, I usually go for a quick jog, um, maybe do a bit of reading and personal projects work and stuff like that. And really at 9 a.m., my work at Shopify starts. So from 9 a.m. to 4, it's really filled with my placement work right now. So a lot of backend development, sometimes meeting with the team, pair programming, which is something really big at Shopify. So having a more experienced dev hop on call with you to either pair on a program that you're blocked on or scoping out an initial idea and seeing the different approaches that you can take to it with your entire team. After 4 p.m., I usually tone down with a quick workout and do a bit of competitive programming practice just for fun. And then I usually tune into my university work. So from 5 to about 9 p.m., I have dinner somewhere in between. And I'm usually watching lectures, catching up on the asynchronous messages in the channels and forums and completing my assignments or studying for tests if they're due. Yeah. Great. And out of curiosity, when is your bedtime if you wake up at 4.30? Uh, my bedtime's around 10 p.m., although it deviates from day to day. I usually push it back later. That sounds great. Would you say your program is challenging? Yeah, for sure. Um, that's a great question as well. So in terms of how challenging the program is, I find it's really in direct proportion to how much work you put in or how much how much you want to really challenge yourselves. As I mentioned before, Dev Degree is a really flexible program. I know there's tons of opportunities at Shopify. So whether you want to participate in an internal hackathon or take on a few side projects or talk with different people, meet new teams, um, you can challenge yourself by going further into Shopify side or on Carlton side, maybe you can take on a teaching position role or focus more on extracurriculars. I know a lot of students took clubs at Shopify. Myself, I'm part of the Putnam math team and I run from time to time. So I guess really in terms of how challenging it is for each individual, it's very specific to each individual and how they really plan their time and what their future goals are. You know, Shopify is um, very tailored fit. That sounds great. So now that we've talked a bit more about the campus life, um, you mentioned that in this program, there were a few different placements throughout this whole program at Shopify. Could you develop on how they are structured and how many placements have you had so far? 
So right from the get-go on Dev Degree, the first, I guess, two weeks are really your newly onboarding time at Shopify. You get to know the first Dev Degree cohort. So this is in getting a, a basic timeline on this. So university starts in September. So this is probably around the last week of August. Shopify Dev Degree reaches out to you and you spend the first first week or two setting up your environment, getting access to your laptop, meeting the Dev Degree 2021 cohort. Um, both the York and Carlton sections, as well as meeting the Dev Degree team. After that, there's kind of an eighth, eight month long training path. So during this time, you aren't really working um, during a, on a placement yet. So Shopify is training you to get familiar with their tech stack. So whether that be um, Vim, uh, the command line interface, um, Ruby, object oriented programming, front end, mobile development, data. Those were kind of all of the things that we covered. I know I didn't mention a lot of things as well. I left them off. So after that eight month placement, you really transition to um, your first placement. So that would be in May after doing from eight months from September to May. So the, the first placement is typically a year and then subsequent placements are eight months. And during those times, I guess, it's more of where your interests lie or what your what disciplines you're curious about. I know myself, I really wanted to go into either a backend or data science position. So I made that as a recommendation to my Dev3 placements manager. And she placed me with, with the shop pay installments team. Really happy about that. And for the next placements, um, which follow in a year from now, or I guess a year from when I first started in May, again, I can talk again with my placements manager and we really cover on what your end goal is. So at the last placement of dev degree, um, you really want to focus on transitioning to full-time. So we want to have the discussion on which field you really like. But for my second one, I just talked about um, data recently. So data is something I've been looking into for a while now. And personally, I find it pretty interesting, the math behind it. So um, in terms of that, so I think placements are really, the selection of placements is really predetermined by where your interests lie and where the placements or dev degree team think you'd be the best fit. Perfect. Yeah. After graduating, would you say that most of the students from the dev degree program pursue a full-time career with Shopify? Yeah. So in terms of getting a full-time after the degree is done, so that's the general idea of how the dev degree works. So you do full four years of work integrated learning and, and at the end we kind of uh, shop by expects you to be ready to pursue that full-time career although it's definitely not tied down as an option shop by after the dev degree is done you're really you really can go anywhere um, you can choose to pursue further education or go to a different company although i know most of the first graduating cohort um, nine students all stayed and are currently full-time employees when it comes to the computer science world, what kind of topics interest you the most? Yeah, so a great question for sure. So yeah, so I can definitely offer an answer to that question. So in the beginning, I was really focused on data. I had previously worked as an intern on the Northern Tornadoes project, doing a bit of computer vision and coming into Shopify, I really wanted to tackle some of the more data focused placements as my first experience. However, entering the Shopify installments team as a backend developer intern really opened my eyes to other worlds of the environment. And I guess how naive I was to believe that data was almost the do or die situation, which it definitely isn't. I'm definitely approaching things with a more open mindset now. So I know that only with experience, you come to appreciate a discipline. So regardless of whether it's front end, back end or production engineering, or even data science tech, I think it's too early to say really on whether I really like a field or not, although I still have a slight bias or tendency towards data. So this concludes this episode of The Inquiry. Thank you so much, William, for coming on and having a chat with me. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for this opportunity. This episode is part of Inquiry's focus series, Tech After High School. We hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in and having us be a part of your journey to code your future. Make sure to follow us on social media to stay in the loop and for a chance to have your questions answered in our next episode. See you then.